Good morning, students. This is Mrs. Teixeira talking to you. We are here today to do some exercises on our page 33. But before, we need to read the text. Okay? So, first, let's start with our exercise 1. Look at the photo and discuss the question. Look at the photos that we have in our text. Which countries are the people from? Where are they from? I think they are from Japan. I think they are from Korea. What are they using to eat? Which objects are they using to eat? Fork, chopstick. What are they using to eat? Next. In your family, who does the cooking? My mommy cooks. My father cooks. My grandma. Who? Came. Who usually lays the table and wash the dishes? This is organize, prepare the table and wash the dishes. My brother lays the table and I wash the dishes. My mother lays the table and my father washes the dishes. Who? Came. Okay? So, write the answers here. They are personal answers, so there is no correct or incorrect answers. Great. Now, exercise two. Read the blog and write the food words that you can find. So, you are going to read and write all the food that we find. Let's start. And I'm going to underline with you. You don't need to write. We can underline. Okay? I will play the text. And you, with me, you take your highlighters, mark a texto. And let's underline these words. The Way We Eat by Matteo Russo, Italy. Hi. We often think our way of doing things is the only way. But people do things differently all over the world. Eating together is important in every culture. But what we eat and what we do at mealtimes depend on tradition. For example, in Italy we say Buon appetito before we eat. But my friends in the UK don't usually say anything. It's really strange for me. What people eat? People eat a wide variety of food, and some of it can seem strange to us. Japanese people eat a lot of raw fish and seaweed. Millions of people around the world eat insects and grubs. They are a source of protein. And in Mexico, they eat them as snacks. In some countries, certain food isn't allowed. For example, people don't eat pork in Saudi Arabia and Lebanon. And millions of Indians don't eat meat at all. How people eat. In the Middle East and India, many people eat with their hands. But it's very rude to use your left hand. In China and Japan, people eat with a pair of chopsticks. It's rude and difficult to just use one. Usually, people don't make much noise when they eat. But you can slurp when you eat noodles in Japan. It means you like them. In Germany, break up your potatoes with your fork. Don't cut them. This shows that they are tender. Okay. So, in this first part, we have fish, seaweed, that is, algas, insects, grubs, larvas, pork, noodles, and potatoes. Now, have you underlined? I will give you some minutes to underline. Okay. 
pause the video if you didn't. I'm going to erase because I need to continue in my second part, okay? Let's continue. How people serve food. In Thailand and China, don't put too much on your plate because it looks greedy to take a lot. And at the end of your meal, leave a bit of food on your plate. This shows that you aren't hungry anymore. But in France and Denmark, it isn't polite to leave food at the end of the meal because it looks like you didn't enjoy it. Okay. Let's check all the food. We have more options than we, we underline, okay? But all these words are related with food. It's not food. Não é só o alimento, e sim palavras relacionadas com refeição, ok? I ask you only to underline the food. Só as comidas. Let's remember insects, grubs, fish, seaweed, pork, potatoes, noodles, only the food, ok? Nice. Now I'm going to read again the text with you and later we're going to do some exercises. So you know guys that there are different ways of eating our food. Here in Brazil, when we eat our food, we use fork, knife. Yes? Garfi faca. If we are eating something different, for example, a dessert, sobremesa, we can use spoons, colheres. In Japan, they use chopsticks. In India, they eat with their hands. So, different ways of eating. Let's read. Hi. We often think our way of doing things is the only way. But people do different things all around the world. Eating together is important in every culture. But what we need and what we do at meal times depends on tradition. For example, in Italy we say buon appetito before we eat, but my friends in the UK don't usually say anything. It's really strange for me. So we, we always think, ah, here in Brazil we do the correct thing. Only in Brazil we are correct. And everybody thinks the same, but it's not like this. For example, Matteo is from Italy. In Italy, before the meal, antes das refeições, eles dizem buon appetito. But in UK, United Kingdom, they don't say anything. Eles não dizem nada. So, it, it's, it's strange for him. Acaba sendo estranho. What people eat. When we talk about what people eat, we are talking about different food. People eat a wide variety of food. We know that we have a huge variety of food. And some of it can seem strange. Peixe cru, uh, that's strange. Yeah, I love raw fish, but it depends on you. Some food are strange. In Japan, they eat lots of raw fish, that is peixe cru, and seaweed. Algas. Millions of people around the world eat insects and grubs. In China, they eat insects and grubs. In Mexico, I told you that I study in Mexico. And in Mexico, they eat insects and grubs. I have already tasted. It's not so good. I prefer a burger. But they eat. Yeah, because they are the source of protein, a fonte de proteína. In Mexico, they eat then as snacks. So, in Mexico, they are snacks, lanchinhos, aperitivos. In some countries, certain food isn't allowed. For example, if you think about Arabian countries, they don't eat pork. For example, Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, millions of people don't eat at all. Okay? Uh, how people eat? 
in Middle East and India, many people eat with their hands. So in India and Middle East, they have the meal with their hands, usando as mãos. No fork, no chopstick, no knife, no spoon, with their hands. But it's very rude to use your left hand. That's, that's interesting. You cannot use your left hand. Não pode usar a mão esquerda. Tem que se alimentar com a mão direita. In China and Japan, they eat with chopsticks. That is hashi. It's rude and difficult to just use one. Usar só um hashi, como se fosse um palito, espetar, it's not good. It sounds rude. It is rude. Usually, people don't make much noise when they eat. When we are eating, we cannot make noise while we are eating. But in Japan, when they eat noodles, you can slurp. So, when you do this in Japan, it means that you like the noodles. Se faz o barulhinho, eles entendem que você gostou. In Germany, break up your potato with a fork. Don't cut them. This show that they are tender. In Germany, they eat lots of potatoes. So when they bring you a potato, servirem uma batata, you cannot use the for uh, the knife, a faca para cortar a batata. You should use the fork. It means they are tender. Mostra que a batata está macia. In Thailand and China. Don't put too much on your plate because it looks greedy to take a lot. Na Tailândia e no Japão, não, deve, não devemos nos servir muito, ok? Because it shows that we are greedy, gulosos, so it's not a good way. And at the end of your meal, leave a bit of food on your plate. So in Thailand and China, you should leave something in your plate. Deixar um restinho de comida do prato. This shows that you aren't hungry anymore. Para as pessoas interpretarem que você já está satisfeito. But in France and Denmark, it isn't polite to leave food at the end of the meal. Because it looks like you didn't enjoy it. So, in France and Denmark, like here in Brazil, we should not leave food in our plate. Não é legal, não devemos... Uh, deixar comida, ok? In our plates. Great? Nice. Now, you have some exercises to do. I need that you do exercise 3 and exercise... Ok, so in our exercise 3, you are going to write the country where people do it. For example, in which country... Uh, people break up potatoes with their fork. Remember which country I told you that they eat lots of potato, that you cannot cut the potato? It is in Germany. Great. In which country they eat snacks? Uh, sorry, they eat insects as a snack. Como lanchinho aperitivo? In Mexico. Where do people eat a lot of raw fish and seaweed? Fish, peixe cru e algas in? Perfect, in Japan. Where do people eat a lot of vegetarian food? Remember that we were talking about pork? In Arabian countries, they don't eat pork. But in India, they eat zero meat. They are vegetarian. So, it is in India. Where do people eat with their hands? Where? In India and Middle East. Great. If you need to copy, please pause the video and copy the answers. Okay? Now, I'm going to do exercise 5. 
in our exercise 5, you are going to complete with a word that has the same meaning. It's like a dictionary, uma palavra que queira dizer isso. Something you eat between meals. So, when we are talking, so you have breakfast and you have lunch. Between breakfast and lunch, you have lunch. How can I say this in English? Exactly, snack. Next one is the opposite of polite. Polite in English is, in Portuguese, is educado. Someone that is not polite, this person is mal educado. How can I say this in English? It is in this paragraph. It is rude. Great. Eat noisily. Remember that I talk about the noodles in Japan that people eat like this? How can I say this in English? Slurp. That's it. Soft and easy to eat. Soft and easy to eat. We are talking about the potatoes in Germany. So, the potatoes, we, they eat with the fork because they are tender, macias. Okay, and the next one is to talk about... Wait more than you need. Remember that I talk about uh, in Thailand and in China, you don't have to put lots of food in your plate because it looks greedy. Yes, it looks greedy. Mal educado, guloso. Yes, ganancioso. Right? That's it for today, guys. I hope you like the class. See you. Bye-bye.